<laughs> Hello, welcome back to Stardew Valley. Uh, I am back from my little hiatus due to, well, reasons I'm not going to go into. If you want reasons, you can go to the Discord or the fucking YouTube. Oh, my phone loud. Sorry, you might have just heard me twice. Oh yeah, we are on the island. I completely forgot what we were, what we were doing. I guess we're looking around for like the last few things or whatever. Which I, I have forgotten a lot right now. I, I am remembering though that we need to get these because we might have a fucking uh, bone that we want in them. It, it's starting. My memory's starting to come back to me with what we need to do. Yeah, but we are on to winter right now, so like. I only have like a few in-game weeks left, and that's actually quite exciting for me, which means I'm soon going to be able to be finally done with Stardew Valley. I might as well pick all that up and sell it. And there's still no other little squigglies. Monday we get, we go like back to the fucking uh, normal island though. Take me to the dig site. Also my controller's on low battery, so I might die here, so I gotta So I'm gonna plug it in. Well like get new batteries for it once it dies. Luckily there's some right in front of me. I know there's no real reason for me to break open all these rocks right now, but I'm going to anyways. You know, because it frees up more spaces for, for squiggly to spawn. at all, so I'm going to go immediately to the volcano. And just spend the rest of my time in there, just trying to find more dragon hoops. Because for some reason they are extremely rare. Could be something useful in that chest.
Well, I did say that would happen. By a golden coconut. Flint, uh, no, Clint would like that. I don't know why I said Flint. I'm gonna try and set up like a rudimentary storage system here on the island. I was gonna try and get some ferns to set up, because why not? It's not gonna be like a good storage system. I'm gonna have like, a, I'm gonna have like maybe one or two chests. Why would I need to get like a proper one of them? Like I know I can, I'm spending a lot of time here, but I can always just like go back and forth and bring supplies. Like the only thing I really need more of is sprinklers. I can just go craft more of those. I have plenty of resources back home for like sprinklers. Robust to start selling me more rhodium sprinklers and then just reuse the sprinklers I already got. Dragon teeth, give me more. Stop giving me more of these fuckers. Dragon teeth got. Why are they? Why are they so rare? Like actually, there's no reason for them to be like this rare. Like actually, there's no reason for them to be like extremely rare as they are.
we gotta find the buttons on this floor. Don't be over van harass me. Come closer to fucking go over here, you monster you bastard. Fucking harass me, harass me right over here, ba you bastard. Don't. I, I, I love enemies that are always out of your range because the developer, for some reason, decides to make them that way. Oh my fucking. Am I getting to fucking cover this entire blob of pool and just walk and just walk will pass so I can able to kill you, you little bitch? There, you were actually useful and because you, you gave me a dragon too. Thank you, finally. Look, they are so annoying to kill, and like they're my only reliable re way of getting more dragon teeth because the game res refuses to give me any like skeletons. Oh, walnut, what's that? What what do I drop? What are you? Here's your chance to catch a rare fish. Lovely, I'm never gonna use it. Anything else wants to harass me right now? Like all those fire guys are very for some reason just everywhere. Like there's no reason for him to be that like literally what five of them in this room. Oh great, they're all by the button I need to go to as well. They wouldn't be as annoying as they are if you could actually if they were like get if they were just a bit weaker, like took two hits to kill the sword instead of four to three. Okay, three golden walnuts right now. But I, I've basically run out of all like the easy golden walnuts to get. Hold on, I'm just getting a bunch of notifications because unlike some assholes, I don't like having fifty at fifty thousand notifications on my phone. Mm. 
Oh, pineapples are right. Oh, and they regrow as well. What? A pineapple regrow. This, this is an incredible technology. go home, well back home after today. They don't know squigglies even though I really cleared out basically my entire, the entire valley of them. Fucking leg, I'm gonna be so mad, game. Like, I don't need any more legs. Stop giving me legs, goddammit. Like, I. This is literally useless. Trader have in store, I wonder. Useless? Get Jumbo Torch from Event 1. I'll buy Jumbo Torch just to throw it away, I don't really care. Apparently, I'm, 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 I'm apparently able to get. Uh, fucking what's it called? Uh, uh, I'm apparently able to get like galaxy, well, like a galaxy solar, whatever it's called, from here. That's the whole reason I bought that. Maybe the jungle has all my squiggly spots. We'll go into the into the volcano just a bit. What about the jungle? No, the jungle does not. Oh. Oh yeah, this area. I have no idea. I didn't ever read this though. When Dark Clouds try to begin your quest to seek the fabled gem bird for each day, one north, south, east, south, east, or west, arrange your gifts upon my door. Oh! Well, that's what I was supposed to do with them. I was supposed to gather them more over here, so next time it rains on the island, I gotta come. This looks like an area for bananas, but I don't have any bananas, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do there, because I can't get bananas yet, because I don't have anything to, refer to, get, to give bananas to. What wisdom does the bird have? What do you have? Five stuck in shelly stones of the sort. Well, well, there's apparently five stuck in the stones that I broke break open a bunch. So I'm gonna go to the docks just because I'm gonna go check them out real quick. Maybe there's a squealy spot here. Probably not though. Nope. Go breaking up, put open all these muscle rocks though, because why not? They apparently might have them.
Nope. His wisdom was false. I'm just gonna get the floor of the, of, the, of, the, of the volcano for today. I don't know why I couldn't speak there. Listen, I've had a very tiring week to, uh, this week, okay? Actually, these past few weeks have just been a pain in the ass. Bastard. So I'm gonna have to anger both them anyways, cause fuck me. To scratch that. That one took five, about five minutes, I think. I don't, I don't really care. I stopped counting at that point. See, sometimes they die in, sometimes they die in three hits. Other, other times they just don't die. That's hit. That's four hits. Why are there are three of them right next to each other? Love, gotta love RNG. I'm gonna I'm gonna anger another free mind you. Okay, I love this floor, that's for sure. Definitely not give me an annoying floor to get through. No, totally not. <laughs> there is why are there so fucking many on this floor? Um I'm just gonna run by them. I'm not gonna waste my time killing them. There's no point in it. There's why? Why are there so many on these floors. Look at, there are no other enemies on this floor. Oh my god, it's just them. It's the most annoying enemies that are just on here. Finally, some other enemies. Reason for me to delay myself with the next floor for a bit. Like, you cannot change my mind. They are, some, they are the most annoying enemy in this, in this entire game. Actually, any flying enemy is. Because all flying enemies are annoying to fight, and you cannot make them fun to fight. They are either a pain in the ass, or they are way too easy to fight. Or they just infinitely spawn out of nowhere, because of it. Because that's apparently making the thing difficult. Listen, concerned ape, I'm just gonna say this. Maybe don't have these enemies spawn infinitely. J ju just the thought. But maybe don't have them be everywhere. I'm just gonna head back to the to the farm now. Take me to the docks.
Hi, Willie. Grab a snowy over here. Why are all the squigglies flying over here? Okay, there's no reason for them to spawn over here. What can I throw away? What can I throw? I'm gonna throw away the bones. No, but actually, why are they all just over here? You're all gathering down by Marnie's place. Breaking up, break open all of these squigglies. I don't know. I don't know why they're all spawning here instead, of like on the island. Because the island has absolutely none of them. Like the island's completely free of any of them are just appearing, but they're just all of them are designed to just spawn here. Pineapples are a, are a fucking waste. Oh my god. I mean, I guess they're like any other uh, regrowing fruit. They sell, they they don't they by themselves don't sell for a whole lot. But the plus is that you're able to get a bunch of them, and they just constantly replant themselves. I'm gonna check on the wine. All of it is now gold star, so soon it'll start turning iridium quality, which then means we can start selling it. stay here until like Wednesday though. And like mainly just like check up on the farm, make sure things are running properly, all shit like that. Wait, gotta check on the my animals real quick. How old are my cows or whatever? Five, 
Five, five months versus one. Yeah, they're both five months old, so we fed them for over a year in Stardew Valley. And you, you, all you might be saying, but hey, isn't a year 12 months? Well, yeah, Stardew Valley's years are only four months. Because Concerned Ape did not want someone to suffer for a lot more. I'm gonna go check on the wine as well. I gotta go sell some of these and I'll come back and grab the wine. I don't know why that fell over. the rest of the wine then sell all that then we'll go do this competition again and hopefully win the fishing competition that isn't rigged against me like it was last year that that shit was fucking rigged though last year i pulled up like seven trash items in a row and managed to catch two fishes actively actually rigged is against me is what it was So now we wait for all the ancient fruit to start producing wine. Okay, my fishing level is all maxed out completely, and I have the best fishing rod in the game. It doesn't really matter because it gives you the same fishing rod as everyone else, but still. I have all the best, pos best possible shit. If I fail this year, it is actually fucking rigged against me because I literally have max level fishing. Talk to everyone about and go do whatever. Then I'm gonna go fucking put Willie in his place and show that I am the best fisherman in all of Stardew Valley. What? Where? I don't know where he went. Oh, you sell stuff here. I guess it's because uh, Pierre's a bit too fucking busy doing any, er, anything else. Actually, that's a lie. P uh, Pierre's probably would have tried to sell shit, but his wife probably told him, hey, shut the fuck up and enjoy. Yes, I am ready. I'm hoping for no bullshit. Please, game. I will buy Haunted Chocolatier. I like how that's my go-to promise. Where are the fish? No, game. We are not doing this again, game.
Where are they at? That's not fish. Come on, five has to be enough, right? Watch me, Willie probably won this again. Nope, yep, there you go. Fuck you, Willie, I am better. I am fucking better. Know your fucking place, you piece of shit. You won last year because the game actively rigged in your favor. Oh, well, I don't get any fucking money this year. Thank, fa thanks, I also take fucking Sailor's Cap, even though some dumbass Stardew Valley YouTuber uses this. Yes, I'm throwing shade at Stardew Valley YouTubers. And it's the same guy who, who looks simultaneously uh, uh, 30 and also like 16 at the same time. Like, how the fuck do you look two different ages? I'll sell all of you because I don't care. I'm going to go throw this hat in this fucking hole and then never see it again. Well, fuck you. F fuck you, Willie. I win. I gotta swear, cause I, or else YouTube will mark this as YouTube kids. I mean, they won't really, cause I. But like, still, it's the fucking it's the principle that matters. I'm going to swear until my monetization comes back, and then I'll tone it down. But I'll still swear. Eleven thousand dollars. That's not as much as I would have thought. Oh, and then next week is like all of these or whatever. We might be able to sell it all and all like all the all of it by the end of the month, hopefully. Because it has all basically been in there for. I, I think about two no like we made it we we made the fucking cap the basement uh, like around the beginning of the fall so it should all hopefully be done soon we probably will, won't be able to sell all of as iridium but I just, but I'm still going to sell a bunch of it. Hopefully. If the game is kind to me. Oh, sorry, I was in, I was in a car for about six hours. Oh yeah, tomorrow uh, is multiplayer time. I'm gonna be playing Fortnite again because there's apparently a, an event going on and I want that clout. Also, uh, I did work on the next database video slightly. I got like the title and like a bit of like the information in the video done so far. I don't know, I checked here, we're done here. But I have gotten some of it done. Expect a release maybe later this month or whatever. I'm still trying to plan out like the story that that day basically is going to tell. Uh, 
I'm gonna head down to the fucking beach or whatever. And just check out what they want from there. Also, check out what they have on the community board, because why not? I'm not gonna... Oh, 100 pieces of ginger. I might be able to do that. The number of K... There's a good money for anyone willing to slay 50 of them. I'll do the ginger one, because... There's a lot of ginger on the island. It's only been a 20 days one as well. Oh, no, wait, I, I just remembered. It's not the fucking island trader who sells you the uh, Galaxy Solar or whatever it's called. It's the fucking, uh, it's Mr. Q in his walnut room. Which requires 100 walnuts. Which requires me to practically do everything on the island before I'm able to get into that room. Which is not going to be able to happen because I need to grow a watermelon. I won't be able to grow a watermelon because... I can't get any watermelon seeds, but I will be able to get the watermelon seeds next week because that's when the that, that's when the traveling merchant guy comes around, and I'll be able to buy watermelon seeds then. And then I need to use speed grow to make it grow, hopefully in time before before the series ends. So I'm able to get more walnuts, and then I'm able to go into the walnut room. It's a fucking process of just me getting a bunch of walnuts before it, before it happens, which is basically just blind fucking luck. Because now we have the farm walnuts that we just need to get. Which are a pain in the ass to get because... It's going to take them forever to do so. Ugh. Why does this place never have any more new funky rocks for me to hit? I'm gonna go. No, not. Wait, is Flint here, here though? Uh, Flint. I don't. You know what? Fuck him. His name's not Flint. Flint Lockwood. That's his new name. I don't, I don't care if his name's Clint or whatever. His name. His new name is Flint Lockwood. If any of you guys get the reference to a to an old mo to a popular movie released in the early 2000s, uh, you will know. Or if you just know meme culture, you will also know. If you don't know, then uh, I'm not going to explain it for you. Someone in the comments can explain it. If there is anyone in the comments. If there's anyone in the comments uh, for the stream or whatever, go say hi. I'll just make sure to... Uh, I don't know. You know what? That's probably the best thing to say on stream. Why that fall? Why are you a bastard? It's heavy is what it is. Let me grab my... Let me grab... It's that time again! I, do I really... Yeah, I guess I'll fucking do that. What is this? Oh yeah, island grades. Someone... She wants ginger. I think she wants that shipped. Yeah, she wants to me to ship a hundred pieces of ginger. Okay. Why not go to the island yourself? They're only like a thousand dollars of a thing. Get them there yourselves. Take me to town. Flintlock, what I have something for you. Break open this weird looking walnut. What the fuck is that? A golden walnut. We got a helmet. Hey, I know someone who would like that. Hey, I know someone who would like that. Someone might like that as well. Someone's gonna like that. They'll also like that, but I'm pretty sure I already gave that to him, as well as the 
That's a, that's a, it's a fucking COG. It's COD Modern Warfare 3, which I heard was a shit game. This is why you don't play the new Call of Duties. You play the old ones. The old ones are actually good. Especially Infinite Warfare. My boy Ethan did not fucking sacrifice himself just so he, he could be in, quote unquote, the worst COD game of all time. A dwarvish shell. I wonder how many of those we're gonna get. Oh, let me go drop off a bunch of shit. Can I wear this? Oh, like, I like my drip more. I got drip. A new reward? Oh boy. I got a fucking drum bass, so now I can just place it somewhere and now I can make a funny noise whenever I walk by it. You know what? Fuck you. Take these rocks back. I don't want them. Did not mean to sell the fucking coal. Now open up my the rest of my geodes. Fuck you. I, I'm getting a lot of iridium though. Okay, I guess I go sell all this and then go sleep or whatever. Something we can take. I already. He didn't want to be able to ring at all, so I'll take that out. Uh, nothing else really is ringing about. I guess I can take this one out and place it by the drum as well. I'll take these out. Okay, so I cleared out a bit of that. At least four furnaces, so that so how much do I need for furnace as well? So at least 25, so I'm gonna need to bring out 100 stone. And then also take with me at least up. I'm gonna need at least one chest, which is like 50 wood. I'll take actually a hundred wood. I've now crafted it all right now. And 
it'll take like a bunch of coal as well. Oh, and I'll be able to expand that farm a bit more. And then tomorrow, I gotta do a bunch of shit. So I had to Abigail real quick as well, because, well, we gotta, let me see if any of that's turned into iridium currently, nope. My frames, no. <laughs> no wait, my, re my resolution, no! I can feel my resolution draining from you as, as we speak. Horrible chance. Horrible. H how is how is YouTube supposed to see more than like five frames now? It's horrible, I tell you. the funny thing we actually don't need to put any more of, of these in here because that max capacity we could take this over to the island but by the time they grow literally it might be just done with the series so i'm just gonna throw some of these into here and then the rest they'll sell let's start with the low quality ones right first Then we'll just sell the rest of the ancient fruit. So next Monday, I'll be back. You hear that, you animal fucks? I'll be back next Monday to give you more love and affection. Actually, hold on. There's a thing I gotta go do, because I'm pretty sure I grabbed the paper for it. So, if you follow the steps of one of these, like, puzzles or whatever, it leads you over to a car. And if you give the guy a rabbit's foot, he gives you something in return. And now I get the lucky charm. My luck is now permanently increased, which means I get better shit.
And we're still missing two more items. Oh. I might as well use it the warp totem. You want 20 walnuts, but I don't have 20 walnuts, so fuck you. I leave for a few days and look what happens. It starts nature reserves to take back over. They didn't want me to pay my taxes soon, huh? I have, I have a really good question here. Who the fuck pays the taxes? Like, does, does, does Mary Lewis just take it out of, like, whatever I sell? Would I never sell them anything? Do I just get visited by the IRS? That's gonna bug someone, but it's not gonna bug me. Okay. I'm gonna do my little check down here. Okay, break up open, open all these. And now I have a place to actually store these as well, so I'm able to save up a bit for mango trees or whatever, which I won't be able to actually use until it's already over. Hey, the X is back. I wonder what happened. Do I get anything for... Nope. I don't know why I would get anything. I already hit the X. I gotta hold on to all the coconuts, I guess, as well, because I'm able to use, sell them or whatever. Well, not sell them. Trade them in at the Allen Trader. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna go do to the dig site real quick as well. Just to see like what we have there. We have a few things. All this lame ass uh, plants are back.
I got a tail finally. I think I already have a tail though. We're gonna go find out. Hey look buddy. I have this neat thing called a tail. Nope, the skeletal tail is for something else. Oh no, it's an art it's an artifact for I don't care. Give me a hint. Yeah, I know golden walnuts probably have it, but like, still, fuck you. Did we get from the farm? Sleep. The thing we all crave in life. Almost 20,000 or just a few ancient through alone. Well, just, for, just from farming, we did push over to 20,000 limit. I'm gonna quickly plant the rest of these. These are gonna have to be used in trading as well, so I'll hold on to any of the normal quality ones plus all the others. I don't know why these guys change. Maybe it's oh yeah, they're close to water. Oh yeah, they do that. These guys will grow faster because we're close. I'm gonna go do my normal rounds now though. I still get to get a, a golden walnut from those, by the way. It's because the golden walnut is a myth, it doesn't exist. Well, at least in those. Because I've literally not gotten one from it. Let's do that room. I'll wait till I get a secret no for it though. Take me to the dig site. So, so then I can go to the island trader, see what they had to sell, and then I'll do a in their volcano little run. Stop giving me the fucking fossilized foot. I do not need the fossilized foot anymore. It's cool and all, but I keep getting like the same fucking item. Like I literally don't need it anymore. I 
be that I currently need is anything but the fossilized foot. I need the fucking rib, rib cage, tail, and skull for the fucking cat. And you are refusing to give them to me. Yes, I. Yeah, they're all probably in the golden walnuts now that I think about it, because that's fuck. Because that's probably where they're gonna fucking be. Shake all the trees that we have to see a wal see walnut in. A little coconut. Maybe I need to. I'm gonna. I don't know. I don't know how the. I don't know how the island trader works. Maybe it's like any other trader and their stock page changes or whatever. Drop anything, okay, cool. Bo bone fragments right now. I need a. Oh, great. It's, it's a floor like this where there's 50 of them. Oh, and I have to fucking drop my sword and be. There's so many. Oh my fucking god. Why are there floors designed like this? The most annoying mob just spammed. We're gonna say, oh, they're not that bad. You try dealing with like 50 of them flying at you at once. You're gonna complain about it as well. Because surprise, surprise, it's not fun when you have 50 enemies that for some that are fast and also tanky. And also spawn randomly out of nowhere. Like at least with the bats and the serpents, you have like a, you get like a neat reward from them. From the bats, you get bat wings, which you use to make fucking lightning rods, which can be used to save your farm, and also, like, progress towards something. But then with, like, those guys, you get, like, a single cinder shard. Maybe two if you're lucky, I don't know. Like, wow, that's so useful. Totally is worth the amount of pain I just went through. Hey there, buddy.
I'm, I need to buy these. in front of me. Hey, a Mystic Stone, though. The, the game's trying to like, go like, see, it's not that bad. The, the game's literally going like, hey, it's not that bad. And it has given me a Mystic Stone to Dragon Teeth, mind you. And the game is literally saying, it's not that bad. It's literally just bribing me to shut the fuck up. Or it's paying me back for all the bullshit I need to deal with. Like, the game's like, oh, we're, I'm sorry, you had to go through like five floors, like, yeah, acting the worst enemy in the game. And that would die on this hill. Blind enemies are the worst type of enemies. Especially if they can go through walls. I'm gonna use a like there are actually good flyings in this game as well. The ghost. It's slow, but if it hits you, it hits pretty hard, even even in late game somewhat. Uh, and drops useful stuff. Uh, the bats, like I said, they can drop, they can occasionally drop useful shit for you. Main, mainly just bat wings, but like still, bat wings are great for making lightning farms. The battery packs sell for 500 each. Which is really good late game. Well, which is really good early game and late game not really that good, but like still enough. Still enough money that you should probably invest in at least some space with it, with them. Then the serpents. The serpents are useful because they can drop lucky eel. Well like the what the fuck it's called. I call it the lucky eel meal. Because it rhymes and it's much more fun to say than whatever the fuck it's actually called. They can drop bombs occasionally, they drop void essence as well. Like, they're one, they're one of the most terrifying enemies in the game, granted, but like, still. At least the reward for killing them is useful. Bombs are great for doing runs into the skull caverns. And you're able to get like a bomb for basically free by just killing one of them. And then these guys drop one item. Sometimes don't drop them at all. They also have a slowing status effect, which makes it real, which is really fucking annoying because no one likes a slowing status effect. They don't hit hard at all. Well, they hit sem somewhat hard. But that's really the, their only. Saving grace is the fact that they don't really hit that hard. Yeah, oh, hi there, Steel. Welcome to the Stardew Valley stream where I'm talking about how fly enemies are the worst fucking enemies in all of gaming. Also, I'm back from my little hiatus or whatever. My health and my family's health comes first before Twitch. Occasionally, it just depends on the day, not gonna lie. And it's back to my little tired about how flying enemies are like the worst enemies ever designed in gaming. Does anyone actually like a flying enemy? We're up here again, yay.
To the farm. I'm going to sell the ruby that we got. That, that. Sell you. You. All of you. Ginger as well. And then put everything else in the storage. I need a steel. I finally got storage set up on this island. Because I'm already spending a lot of time here. Might as well make it my second home away from home. My house is still empty as fuck, though, I won't lie. I've still yet to get a golden wand out of these muscles. Well, out of these muscle rocks, like the game says it should. Because they don't exist in the. They just don't exist. Maybe what's going wrong is that there's like no spot. It's trying to spawn place, but these things are blocking it. So I'm gonna go break a bunch of this debris and then hope that fixes the problem. You're not finding literally any of these little squiggly artifact spots. Okay, now I go do a thing or whatever. Go talk. To, oh, I'm gonna go talk to the bird again. Because the bird has wisdom about some things. Mainly wherever these last few fucking uh, things are. Oh, move. I gotta talk to the bird. You gotta, you gotta fucking move, Leo. I gotta talk to the bird. Leo. Move. Let me talk to the bird. I want to consult the archives as well. Steel, I got. I, I had to talk to the bird to figure out where the where these next few walnuts are. Golden walnuts, so I can unlock the magic door or whatever. And Leo here won't fucking move. There you go. You stood there for two hours. 
There are no there are no walnuts in the muscle rocks. I have broken them open several times. There's no wall they are not real. Screaming is what I'm about to do. Cause they do not fucking exist. There's there's no such thing as there's literally no such thing, and I'm and I and I'm serious about this. There's no such thing as golden walnuts being in the muscle rocks. I have broken open so many. They are not real. They do not exist. Do not believe the lies of of the bird. I don't know why I consult the archives anymore. Hey, we got a rib, and we got also got a fucking leg again. This game has a foot fetish. Oh, this is a thing for gun fur. You know what? Maybe it is a thing for this guy. You know what? We got another prehistoric rib. Let me go find out if he wants it. <gasps> is that an artifact spot for me? Oh, great. Useless. I wish I had a soundboard so if I can play like the Minos Prime useless sound effect. He does not want to rip. What's your hint, bud? My nose telling me that snakes might be. You think? I'm wondering where those artifact spots are to find the snake. They are. They aren't there. They're not real. They're a myth. Just like these rat bastards over here. They're they're, they're a myth, just like the elusive uh, what's an item I have that I've never found before. I don't know. They're a myth, just like the end, just like the end of the series for this game. I still I still blame my YouTube community. Damn. I've never really played Skyblock before. I'm not I'm not a huge multiplayer guy or whatever. Like, obviously I'm trying to make it, I'm trying to like make make an exception for my like playing multiplayer games on the weekends thing. But like I've never really been a huge fan of multiplayers. They went into the fucking lava, oh my god. And he's here! Cat, it's the worst enemy in the, in the entire game. It's because they're they are fast or they are slow when they come at they, they're either they're just fast when they come at you, but are slow when you knock them back. So we just kinda like sit there for like five hours wait, waiting for them to come back. And then you do it two more times. It's so fun to fight them. It's definitely not the what makes it one of those annoying things that you need to fight. Hey, I got ginger. I like how the bomb guys occasionally just run at you when you damage them enough. Like, they immediately just go like, I'm going to die anyways, so I'm going to try and kill that fucker by charging at him. They have my respect for doing that. However, they lose respect because they died. Fuck off, you... You serpent wannabe, you bastard. You dare stand where the serpent once stood. At least the eel serpent was terrifying. You're just a mild annoyance. Actually, no, you're just a major annoyance. Dwarf sword. 
Dwarf sword, I, the six. Okay, it's, so it's worse. I'm I'm not going over there. I'll deal with the one over here and still get spotted by those guys over there. Or I can deal with all these ones up here as well. I'm. Uh, why are there so many? What the fuck? This is more proof for why they are the worst enemy in the entire game. Because for some reason the game goes like, the player hasn't suffered enough. Let's throw 50 at, at him. Like, actually what I'm supposed to do here, other than like fight them slowly and like get through the score by the time it's like 10 a.m. or whatever. No, I'm just going to run through it. Fuck it. I ain't going to fight them. They don't drop anything useful at all. Unlike every other enemy in the game, that drops something useful. You can sell a slimer, turn it into an egg. You can get good shit from the eels that are the worst, that are one of the scariest enemies in the game. Come over here, come over here, come over here, come over here, come over here. Nope, stay, stay right there, stay right there. There you go. Hey there, Bodo. Everything you saw is useless. I'm not going to be able to make it to the end. Most type of school rich step up here don't care about the broke but people and will farm off anything even if it does not pay them that much money. And people like like me, you will still fly by yourself. Yeah. Th that's, a, that's a thing that I've, like, seen in Sky, Sky Bubble for, from a few videos. People just, like, immediate. A lot of people just go, like, hey, this thing makes a lot of money. Let's exploit the fuck out of it. Or, like, they'll see... Or just, like, farm the stupidest items out there that, like, don't make any money. It just... It's, like, a... It's a weird thing I observe, but, like... Once again, I've never personally played high pixel at all, but it's a it's a thing I've seen from a few videos. I could go sell him, but like that'll take time out of my day to go to the guys and get it sold. I'm going to sleep. Also, I'm going to end stream here because it's that time again. Or I can go for another... I'll go for another 30 minutes. You know what? I'm going to go for another 30 minutes. I'm, I'm going to try and make up for the time that I did not stream for these past two days. Even though it was completely out of my fucking control of what happened. But still, I'm going to try and make it up to you guys. Time to explore my farm again, find no squiggles. Would you look at that? They're not real, they don't, they don't exist. They don't spawn on your farm, it's not real, it's fake. It's fake. Just like, <gasps> they're real, never mind, I believe. Please. Never mind, they're fucking fake. <laughs> it didn't give me the item I wanted, so I immediately went like, no, they're fake now. I be my, my mistake was believing in it. Be believing that I wouldn't break my heart again. But I did. Eh, that's nice to do. That's nice to do. Just make a lot of money in high pixels, just give that all out.
time to go to the dig site. Well, let's go consult the bird again. The almighty burb. That's if Leo isn't hogging at him for some reason. Right, good, you weren't by the bird. They aren't real! <laughs> they are they are not real. Cannot convince me otherwise. The ones in the stones are un, are not real. They aren't real, just like today's sponsor, no one. No one is sponsoring the stream. Well, actually, there is someone sponsoring the stream. This, the person sponsoring the stream is me. Go watch my other. Go watch my other. Consume my my content. Go watch my YouTube or whatever. Join the Discord. Follow my Tumblr. Do all that. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. I mean, follow my Twitch as well. Oh, there's a golden wall down there as well, huh? You mean to tell me for every seven hours, ten extra hours I I work, I'm gonna get a whole extra dollar? Sign me the fuck up! That's a reference to the Russian Badger, who is a very cool dude. Mainly because he's funny and actually good at video games. on this floor and I've only stepped like foot I've only walked like five feet in onto the store as well and there's already so fucking many yet Companies gonna shit talk so they never try and sponsor me. Don't ask where that question came from. I just need to figure out who I want to shit talk right now. I mean, the obvious one will be like, you know, what? I'm gonna do the obvious one. Raid Shadow Legends. Their their game's bad. Like, literally, the YouTube. You, but quick fun fact about sponsorships, uh, YouTubers are paid to say good things about it so that they can hope their viewers buy it. Which is really fucking scummy in my opinion. Like, yeah, I know that some YouTubers need a way to make money, but like, real fucking scummy. It, if I ever accept a sponsorship, I'm going to request one thing from the sponsor. I'm going to say like, hey, I will, I will willing, willingly do your sponsorship on one condition. I'm allowed to bring up some some bad things or whatever. I mean, probably won't work heavily with a lot of sponsors, but there might be a few chill sponsors out there who are like, you know what, fucking do it. Because I'm just going to say it. If you, if you see every YouTuber talk good things about like this one particular product or whatever, they're not saying it from experience, they're saying it from a script. I think some ordinary gamer did a video about that or whatever. Like, I forget who, but there's but there's a few YouTubers out there who like talked about like r r raid or like coming out to them like with, like with sponsorship opportunities. We just like rejected because like they didn't want to 
they didn't want to support the company, well, the game or whatever. You know, but that's, but yeah, but hi, for any future sponsors, you, my one request is that I'm allowed to talk shit about your product slightly. Once again, I probably won't get many, many sponsors because of I said that, but like still. I need to go press another button and I gotta deal with this guy. Yay! Also, why are the slimes so unbelievably tanky? Oh my god. No, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna go and do the island trader or whatever. Oh, oh, okay. Mm. Oh God. <laughs> Now, I could buy more pineapple seeds. I can just like find them normally, like any fucking person would. I'm gonna go find them normally, is what I'm gonna do. Like it's it's better just sell that. Uh, what's what's another thing you can talk about? Oh yeah, TF two. Uh, TF2 is a fun game, and it's sad that Valve doesn't pay attention to it. I love Valve dearly. Like, they make great games, they're a great company, but they really do neglect a lot of their ga older games, like TF2. And it really sucks if I do that. Blue Discos. Where the fuck do I find Blue Discos? Yeah, but TF2 is a fun game. I recommend giving it a try. Now, before you pop into a TF2 game, I'm, I'm just going to tell you this. Go find a community server. Like, find a community server to play on. Because, like, normal servers are kind of, well, it's basically like the Terminator, except you actually stand a chance at killing one of them because they are bad. But, yeah. Oh. How, how am I... How am I informed about this? I am on an island, God knows how far away, with no mailbox, no cell phone to my knowledge. How the fuck am I, do I know about this? Oh, we gotta give him... <laughs> We're giving him a name at Michael. <laughs> Hold on. How, how do you spell exactly in FNAF floor? <laughs> I, I, I gotta fucking do this, okay? I got I got a name I got a name in Michael. Okay. Oh, no, here we here we go. I gotta, make, I gotta make sure to get the cor correct, uh, how you correctly spell it. That does not look like it should spell Michael. 
but according to Google and the fucking wiki, that is in fact how you spell Michael. <laughs> Don't question. <laughs> well, is it? Sp sp you know, hold on. We got, I can make this better. Michael A. <laughs> we all know what the A stands for. It's my. It's him. Now. Oh wait, it's a her. Never mind. <laughs> Well, I well I still know a name for him that fits my foot in half floor. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a her. I just got so caught up with the fact about this. Elizabeth, Elizabeth A. <laughs> it's Elizabeth Afton. She's gonna fucking die to a robot that I build. Anyway, now now that now that I need to go kill a, kill a few children in this game, <laughs> like I I, I now I actually now gotta go kill a few children. Like I, I got I gotta complete the cycle. I gotta make sure it happens. Like it's a canon event. It has to happen. I have to kill a few kids to make an omelet. Wait, sorry. Also, we got pineapple. Mmm. Anyways, if they're not real, artifact spots are not real. Neither are the things in the shell rocks. You're not real. I don't believe in you. Hi. Hiya. Hiya. Maybe I hit you with a scythe, you'll give me it. Ah. No, I gotta hit you with a pickaxe. Not real. The walnuts are the walnuts are. They are they are real. I believe now. I still don't believe in artifact spots though. Artifact spots are fucking fake. Why is my quieter? What did I do? Maybe it's my volume. Maybe it's the volume I have on my phone right now. Maybe it's just that. We got a lot of ginger. You're telling me a ginger bred this man. The bird flu? Yeah, they tend to do that, mate. Sorry, welcome to Terrible Jokes with Pig 5. I am your host, Pig 5. You are not allowed to leave, you are forced to stay here. You can scream into the abyss all you want, but no one will save you from my horrible puns. I will find where you live. I'm gonna break into your house or whatever. That is a joke, by the way. Twitch, please be kind and understand humor. I am joking. I am doing a slight ha-ha funny with my viewers. Now the question. Do I save up for 20 walnuts? Or the fucking thing or whatever? Or do I save it for, for... Or do I spend it now? The answer is a lot more complicated than it sounds. Take me to the docks. I gotta go see if there's anything there. There are no artifacts about this. Let's go consult the bird of wisdom real quick, chat. We consult the bird in times of hardship. Those times being whenever, whenever the fuck I feel like it. Or whenever I may need to kill five kids or whatever so that I can play a prophecy. Leo! Oh, you were leaving, sorry. Painting the pages of the journal. Okay, we need to go kill shit to get the journal pages, by the way. So, murder. You can't see what I did. I did a thumbs up motion, but I don't have a face cam yet. I was going to get a face cam, but like, then that fucking happened. Hey, bud. Hey, look, buddy. I'm engine. I'm an engineer. That means I'm gonna need you to die. Oh, 
We got more coconut. It's a big, big nut. We got a gold one as well. Oh my god, it's a miracle. Miracle of like, how the fuck do I get up? Why am I here on this island? What is the point of any of this, huh? Like, the, the valley traded one ruthless corpor corporation for a guy who was basically a corporation. Uh, be honest with me, uh, Steel. Would you rather have Joda be, be the one in control of your peaceful va valley in the middle of nowhere? Or some guy who destroys nature to make money be the dominant power in your linear valley. I would go with the ruthless corporation because at least I'm able to bully them. At least, at least I'm able to like get enough people to like bully them into like backing off slightly. If it's just some guy, what are you gonna do to him? You can't do anything. You can't stop him. What was the hint? Some great fishing on the island. From what I know, many of the fish enjoy nibbling on ancient bones. I know. Can I use bones as a fucking bait? I can't. You lied to me. We got mango seed. We got a mango. No idea. I mean, that, that, that's kind of fair. You're you're choosing like one villain or like another villain. One villain's a massive corporation. The other villain's just some guy who no one can really stop because like stopping him like will will will, will require you to just murder him. Unlike a corporation where all, all of that requires you to just cancel them on Twitter by calling them like, I don't know, by just accusing them of something. I mean, I guess you could do the same thing for a guy, but like, is that really going to stop the man? He might just double down and go like, haha, fuck you. so much. He's my favorite enemy. Now, I could just leave right now, but I want to kill that guy over there. floor type. exit. There. Not great.
I love how many there are. I love all, I love the flying enemies. They're my favorite enemy type. They sure are fun to fight and absolutely fair because they can go through fucking walls. Like that's a fair design in an enemy. We got, we got, I got another mummified bat. I do not care. Take me back to my farm. Anyways, that is now it for the stream chat. I will see you all tomorrow. Two streams tomorrow. That being the start of another Stardew Valley stream. As well as a fucking... Uh, uh, multiplayer stream. Remember to follow my Twitch. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh... What I'm thinking. Uh, follow my Tumblr and also join the Discord. There are a few cool people on the Discord. Everyone else I don't know about. And there's a few guys who are just assholes there. That should not scare you away from the Discord, but go change it. I'm a cool person. No, I'm actually just a stupid person. Uh, go, jo go, go join it anyways. You like my content, you'll join it. Anyways, goodbye. Wait, hold on. Goodbye.